In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this, 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 and also this using Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Silva. Here, I teach more about Final Cut Pro 10 tricks and tips, and also some few editing tips that you can use in your editing journey. Let's get started. So with this, you go to your generator side. Under generator, you choose solids. Solids, you choose custom and drag on top of your video. Let's make this short. Click on that. Then let's close this side so we can get more room to play around. Now let's change this color to gray will be okay for this. We close that. Go to your video inspector side. Go to your transform under transform. Make a keyframe under position. Then go 15 frames forward. Make another keyframe over there. Then go back to your first keyframe that you made. We go to opacity. We change it to 90%. Let's click on this to bring the transform edges out. So now you drag this till it disappears from the screen. Now click on the Y as it's typing zero so it will straighten. So now we have something like this. It comes in and just that. Good. Then click on this. Go five frames forward. Make a duplicate of this by pressing Alt and dragging upwards. We change the color of that. Let's go back to this side. We use sign for this. Click on that. Then go five frames forward again. Click on the first bottom one. Make a duplicate of it by pressing Alt and dragging upwards. Then we we'll place it here. Then go five frames forward again. Then make a duplicate of the sign one that we made in the middle by pressing Alt and dragging upwards. So now we have something like this. It comes in slowly. Now we'll bring in our test that we want to write on. We'll go back to our generator side. We'll go to the titles. Under titles, we choose basic title. We drag and drop on top of all of them. Make a cut over here. We don't need that. Now let's close this. And then we can write anything that we want to write. Now click on the top custom solids that we have. Command C to copy the effect from there. And if you've not seen that video, I will leave a card over here. You can check that out about how to copy an effect from one clip to the other. So we copy that, Command C. Then we click on the titles that we have. Shift Command V to bring the video attribute out. And this time around, we just need everything under transform. So we click on maintain so we can maintain the exact keyframes that we have with the custom solid, we click on paste. So now you have something like this. The test comes in with the last custom solids that we have on top of it. So now how to achieve this, this, and this, you just play around the crop tool to get it the exact size that you want and you get the same effect using the same method. But if this video really gets 30 likes and more, I'm gonna drop a free plugin of this title effect for you guys. You just drag and drop on your videos and it will make your life very easy and simple and fast. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.